Hi guys, welcome back. Part two of the BMW with the new engine that we're trying to make to uh, Drift Symphony uh, this weekend. Um, got a lot going on, so we're just gonna drive right into it. Still got intercooler piping to make. Exhaust, we got something going on with the exhaust. We're gonna figure that out. But we got boxes from Threadstone. So let's see what we got. Hit up you guys yesterday from Threadstone. Told them I need some goodies, so the car needs a quick refresh. They got it to me next day. Uh, they are in Florida, so you know, as long as they ship it out, I get it on time. Yeah. Let's see, what we got uh, more piping, vacuum hose, and more piping. But that old cooler, I promise you guys, is here. Boys, the Threadstone sent me a nice. I think this is a 28 or the 15. I'm not sure. Um, but I have one of these on the FD. So I figured, hey, I'll put one in the drift car since the other one um, may have material in it. So I don't want to risk it. So we got a new oil cooler and more piping for exhaust and more silicone and, and reduces and 90s and all, all the good stuff. Let me see. No secret notes like FDF. Come on, Threadstone. All right, cool. So we're going to take all this stuff and get that car finished up in this video. Also, um, we still don't have a V-band for the uh, downpipe, which is kind of sad. But I'll figure something out between now and tomorrow, because it's already getting late, and I just want to see the car have in a cooler pipe in, and you know, running real good. So I'm gonna get back to welding and assembling. All right, that was it. Intercooler piping is done. Crushed that off the list. And earlier today, uh, we had overnight some new discs for my uh, Clutch Masters 850. Um, so I already put the trans in. So the trans in, got clutch line, bled the clutch. Um, all we're missing now is dry shaft because the uh, diff we already put back in. Um, so, I mean, crossing off the list real fast. We're getting there, but we still don't have this flange for the exhaust. So I'm just trying to keep myself busy with a whole bunch of other stuff till we get it done. So, I'll show y'all how it looks on there and out again. Uh, can you see good at all or no? Yeah, hold on, all right, I mean, so back up here. All right. All right, so also today, I got a uh, dump tube done. This thing has a big 50 mil on it. Um, that should keep that real big turbo slowing down and not over boosting and stuff. And of course, we have GSR G-Force uh, right there. Clutch is already in, custom mount made by me. Uh, yeah, and we're missing a dry shaft, but we're making good progress. It's not like a car I haven't showed y'all before, but I was like, you know what? I'll explain to you guys what's going on under here. These are brake lines. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those videos. That's the videos I don't like.
All right, cool. It's really, really, really crunch time. Uh, next day, we're back on it. The flange ended up coming in. It's correct. So I already run, ran ahead and made the downpipe. So now we have exhaust. Um, doing the oil cool right now. Uh, I did the catch can really late last night and it runs really good. So hopefully we can just finish up this last bits. We can get over to the dyno, get it dynoed, and then we'll probably align first thing in the morning and then load and leave to go to Atlanta. All right, cool, the car is ready. Ready as, as can be. Uh, we're gonna start it up now. We're gonna go straight to the dyno and we're gonna try to tune it now, see how much power she makes. Um, but I think we have everything finalized um, and we're ready for horsepower, so let's go. All right, cool, so we got like two pulls in, one little baby pull and one almost full pull and then I let off and it's not looking too shabby. Um, on wastegate, car's only making like 12 pounds, uh, which is the red line. Um, the blue line's the old motor, but on 11 pounds, this thing is making 462 horsepower and almost, almost 400 foot pounds of torque. Very impressive. Now, yes, the 30 was making a lot more power here but that's with a lot more boost and boost controller is why it was tracking i'm also hitting the car at after 35 and it spools up really fast so so far i mean by the dyno numbers uh 3.2 is the choice which we knew because the 34 has this um i'm gonna let it cool down check over some stuff and then we'll do a full pull and then start adding boost i'm not looking for nothing crazy probably back to where we was 549 this is the motor that we're going to use in the fd car so i don't want to go crazy with turning it up now um but yeah this is a good break-in i'm really excited but i'm also scared because this is the first time the motor's running as you see motor was on the stand we drove it out there i mean we put it in the car backed it out got it on on a dyno straight to making horsepower so let's go <laughs> All right, cool. So we put a little bit of boost in it now. Um, we went from 11 PSI to 14 and the car picked up like 65 horsepower. Wow. I'm hype. Now you're really starting to see the, the 3.2 shine with how the torque comes up real early and now it's holding it real nice. I'm only revving it to 7,500, but you know, got to take it easy on the FD motor, you know? So yeah, let's add some more boost. Huh? This is actually enough power for what we're doing this weekend. But I mean, we already here. Might as well see what 20 pounds making. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lost for words. I'm not really lost for words. I'm just very impressed. Um, the car's only on 20 pounds and it's making 621. It's actually really impressive. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there. I might actually bring it back down a little bit because I think that's more than enough for 265s. And the car's not even like set up grippy wise for this weekend. So 
This will make real good for testing. Um, it actually has a little bit, a lot more in it. I think if we put another 10 pounds in it, we'll probably be at like eight, 800, if not more. But let's not push the boundaries yet. Let's break it in. Um, yeah, I'm about done there. Uh, uh, I'm going to just clean up the map a little bit, do a little bit of drivability stuff, and we can call it ready for tomorrow after I put the front end on. We'll see. We still got to line the car also, too. So, Where's the excitement? I want to drive! <laughs> Today's the day we leave, but you know, we're never ready on time. Um, after the dyno last night, we had a bunch of stuff at the shop, so we stayed there late. One, two in the morning, alignment racks obviously closed. So now, today, which should be pretty simple, um, we're down the street at Connor Automotive. He lets us use his alignment rack all the time. We're going to get this new FDF kit we got in the front, dialed in, put some towing in the back so it'll be fast because uh, some of the big boys are going to be there at the T Bane thingy. So let's get it right, then we get it loaded up. Then we can head to the track. This is the updated uh, FDF kit. Um, it, it looks like it's lighter weight and they put, uh, I forgot what you call these adjuster things now, but you don't have to take the, uh, the arm off anymore to, to adjust caster or some camber. You can do it on the car. So that, that is a big improvement. I'm really liking that. And real handy that right, right through the thing, you can get through and reach the damn uh, tire rod in, man. I think that was good. Good job, Josiah. You're killing it right now. This is FDF boys is out there. So that's sweet. I um, actually got to drive the car last night um, down the street and it feels a lot more better because the car has a lot more caster now so it self steer a lot better. Almost like a 240 now, which is pretty good. Cars are finished on the line. We're ready. Time to load and get on the road to Atlanta, Georgia, to the T Pain event. We're gonna go up there, have some fun. Cars are all looking good. All panels on everybody's car. The new motor sounds good. I can't wait to drift it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. For the next one, we will be drifting. <laughs>